I have a rule, but it's not because it's written here. Okay, forget about this. Then, then don't talk about this. Don't okay. talk. Okay, I talk, I talk about this book, and you follow these rules. Okay, I, if I you, follow the rule myself. No, 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 no. Only because I love. No, somebody. no, no, no. I can. You cannot contradict any rule of the book of this. Mm -hmm. You say this. I can show you. This okay. is because God says, "Do not talk. Do not go." Not to commit it at least. Well, the, 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 the Jewish say no, no, not, to, not to work on, uh, on the Sabbath. The God, the God, God doesn't What say. is the Sabbath? For them? Yeah, what is the Sabbath? No, for them or for, for me? You're asking for no, me? No, the Jewish Sabbath is the seventh day. No. The day God rests. Uh, that's the concept of the Bible. Or the day yeah, the day that God rests, the seventh day. But Quran says God is not tireless God. He doesn't take rest. You that's know what Jesus the, said? No, that's not all. You, you must answer. Let me finish. The Creator is not tired of doing anything. That is a, I believe that. That is the nature of the Creator. Well, what I believe is No, that, just hold on. Okay. So the God rested on the seventh day is in the Bible because your God is so weak and tired. That is not my God. You must understand. He's the same God. So you must understand. It is There's the only one God. There is only one God, but you must correct the attributes of that God. The <laughs> definition of God is the same. Word he God. He no, never he, said he was weak. He was tired. The, the Christian that, that Bible he, doesn't say he that was weak. That's why he rested. No, he rested because he chose to. He chose not to work. Look, you can't put your words in the Bible. Well, that's why he chose. God, no, the he Bible did, he does not say he, he was tired. What you will understand why that so he, he rested. Why, why, why you rest after work? Well, you rest when you rest. Because you're tired. Maybe. But God doesn't have a body. <laughs> He's a spirit. Play. He doesn't get tired. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. He, doesn't he never get tired. gets tired. So that is what I'm saying. That's the Quran says. So you yeah. again come back to Quran. No, he never gets tired. So he won't rest. That's the God says. He's created yeah. six days. And He's now omnipresent and all omnipowerful. So then again you're coming back to the Quranic spirit again. That's what I'm saying. You, you are all... When you There's sit. only one spirit. No, there is only one God, and the words of God, the spirit of that word is this. Since God is a spirit, He can send that spirit into us, and we'll be His follower, and we can be, we can, we can use that same spirit that's in us, okay, to now, do His will. Yeah. Now we have to, we have, we have to understand that, this, that we are discussing something in difference of words. I think it's semantics, yes. Yeah. It's a matter of semantics. No, no, it's not semantics. It's the difference of understanding or comprehension of the word. Now, to me, God is not a spirit. You have been taught God is a spirit because of the Bible says so. The Bible says He's a okay. spirit. Okay, for, for me, God... You think He has a body? No, no, no. Let me... Okay. I will explain. My point of view that you understand because you, have, you, you mean you, not you. The, the, from the biblical understanding, we come to know that He's a spirit. For us, God is not a spirit. He's defined himself by his attributes. He's, oh, yeah. he's loving, he's caring, mm -hmm. he's uh, wise, he's, he's, he's wise. Well, uh, the Bible says that. No, no, just hold on. Yeah. Okay. But he bred his spirit is his creation. Spirit is, is words. Words is not God. Words is his creation. Well, the Bible says, I, and, now, let, let me say I, this. You're going to like this. In the beginning... <laughs> was the Word, and the Word was with God. So, the Word is not God. And That's what I'm trying to say. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. But the the word, word with God. was with God. God and Word were okay, together. Let, let so, me, I'm trying to say Word is not God. Let me say the word that they're using. The English translation... I don't know Greek, so don't... Okay, the okay. English translation for Word is Logos. I understand. It's the, something that represents God. Okay. I'm not, I won't go into a... Uh, but let we, me ask you something. La, la, well, I'm reading the simple English Bible. No, let me ask you something. No, no, just a minute. About your Quran. Uh, let me, let me, one, one minute. Okay. Don't, we jump on very fast. You see, word is with God. So God <coughs> is separate and his word is creation. He said, be, this whole universe came into existence. This be is his creation. So everything is in the world is his creation. He's not creation. So the Quran is his words. Is his creation. The spirit that is, is in us is creation, not God. It's not a part of God in you. That's what I'm coming to. He said his spirit. No, I understand that. His Holy Spirit. No, I, I believe in that Holy Spirit, but that Holy Spirit is not God. He's got his loving, his, his, his wise, his, his so many attributes, well, but he's let, not a spirit. Let me but explain you myself. Yeah. 
God and His Spirit are not separate. For you, yes, because that is how they're the not separate. They are. According Some people think that you have a God and the Spirit and, and the that's Jesus. Jesus. That's the I problem. don't believe that. So that's why they're separate. I don't believe that though. So that's why I'm saying I'm also God saying, and His Spirit are not separate. You, they're one. They're one. In what sense? Since God is a spirit. No. When God's presence is here. Yes, is there right now? Yeah. Yes. And it says, if two or three gather in my name, I'm there. Yes. Since His Spirit is here, He is here. No, I didn't say Spirit. Is, you are saying Spirit is here. Well. I'm talking about He is here. Two or three gather in His name, He is here. No, he, I said He is here, not the Spirit. You are saying Spirit. It's the here. same. God's Spirit and God are the same. For you, maybe. Because, well, He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. Yeah, I understand that. But God said, I spread my Spirit. So you take God's part, I don't believe it. Because he, in His attribute, He's not Spirit to us in our Quran. But the, in the Bible, Spirit and God is one, and then Jesus is also one. Three no, God. some some people believe different. Who? You know, some Christians believe different. No, I, no, some I, of us are not Trinitarian. No, what I was trying to convey, mm -hmm. the c creation, all His creation, including the Spirit, is His creation. That's correct. And the words of God, the understanding that comes from the word of God, the essence is the Spirit of God. Okay, I, I will give you that. Yeah, the, I can. I can show you. I, I will can. give you. No, I, I will give you that. Yeah, that that is what is the difference. The understanding that comes from God is, is the His Spirit word. Of, is and, the word. And it is His word. When you read the words of God, mm -hmm. when you read the words of God, and you ponder the understanding that comes, the true understanding that comes to you is the Spirit of God. That's correct. That's what that's called is, a revelation of scripture. That is, that is revelation of the spirit is in you. No, that's a revelation. It opens the darkness. Okay, that is the spirit in you. Yeah. And how do you know? I mean, how we people can come to know when we read the words of God, and we when we ponder, do not marry your sister, do not marry your brother. So I didn't learn from anywhere. I'm reading in a book. The spirit is in me. It confirms the spirit that in origin, original God breath into the essence of the words. I understand is true. Okay, <coughs> marriage to so divorce is also there in the Quran. So then there's a chapter of divorce. We understand if we, two people cannot live together, divorce should take place. Right? That's possible. So now the or, is sad though. Yeah, what I'm trying to convey is anything you read, the understanding that comes to you. It's the, it is confirmed by the spirit that is in you already, without words. Yeah, if you don't have if you don't have a revelation of the spirit, you can't even understand holy word. If you don't have the spirit in you, you can't uh, yeah. understand it. Because God has given the spirit to all mankind. But you, if you don't have it, no, you no. can't understand it. That's what I'm coming to know. The God gave this spirit to all mankind, mm -hmm. so that on the day of judgment, He cannot say that the word when I read the word, I I didn't got the message. But what if what if I reject it so long that. Who? What if What if a human rejects God so long? He can. What if he just rejects God forever? No, but the question I have, I come back to the same. Uh -huh. If the spirit, first of all, the spirit is in everybody. Okay. Now the word of God is presented to him. Mm -hmm. He reads it. He reads it. This word. Yeah. And the word that when you read the essence that comes to you. It makes sense to you. You confirm because it's the spirit is in you. Yeah. So you can see this is coming from God. Yeah. So that is how you identify the word of God and the other books. The, in the name of God, that books are being presented to the world. 